Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. Prestige Cup this season with the LBM3 BMW. I'm on the last few races. Just want to kind of run through it. I've uh, been doing this cup with stage 5 only car. And it's actually pretty easy so far. I suspect based on what I know of the final times, you can actually beat this without any stage 6s. So that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. It really does depend on, of course, uh, the final opponent and how fast they run. Because until that point, I don't foresee any problems. Now, let's take a look at the time I'm running. 9.245 on stage 5 only, but I am running full fusions. So race 22, that was race 21. It's still in the 10s. No problem at all. I'm going to go ahead and keep going, get through it. So again... The thing about the LBM3 is that it beats its own dyno. This is actually nothing special if you really think about it. Uh, most T3 cars actually beats their own dyno by a bit. So with speed traps, it's just a matter of making sure it's on nitrous for the important part of it and you'll get through it right on through. You kind of have to shift into later gears. Now, if you're pushing it kind of close, you can always run the nitrous even later. Uh, and this is without adjusting tire. Obviously, I can lower tire grip and get a higher top speed. So, no problem with speed traps, no problem with sprints, no problem with time so far. And we're now on to race 23. Quick and easy. Basically, I get out of first around 35, 40 miles an hour. And that seems to give me some of the best runs. You just top out in fourth. And it's tuned to fourth. Okay, so Max Evil Tune at 4th gear, 9.229, so keeping it in the low 9.2s. The Dino actually is like a 9.39, I believe. So again, it beats Dino by almost 2 tenths. Uh, and that again is standard with this car. Same thing with the LBM4 and other T3s. So, it, I mean, some T3s don't beat Dino, but they, this one does, and so does uh, M4 and some of the others. So it's not always um, going to come down to uh, in live racing for M, uh, for T3, if you beat Dino by like two tenths, it doesn't mean you're always going to win because other cars beat it by the same amount. Uh, well, that was bad. Um, you really have to, you know, beat Dino by a little more or you have the margin of matchmaking. So we'll, we'll talk about live racing with T3s a whole separate time. This is more about just this season's PC Cup. The good news is BMW... You can strip BMWs for fusions. Even if you don't get any stage 6 for this car, it looks like it'll do just fine, which is important because that's ultimately what we want to see is that this car will make it through without having to use the stage 6s. How are we doing here? Let's take a look. Eh, I'm, I'm losing my touch here. You need to launch perfect to get the best runs. But again, 9.7. Oh, it's max. Look, it's max versus max. Um, 9.7 here, race 26, so race 26 coming up should be somewhere around like a 9.5s, and then 27, 28 might go down to 9.4s. Uh, that's generally the way it works. It'll go slightly faster each race as you get to the end. Here we go, trying to keep everything as good as possible. How do we do there? That should be a decent low 9.2 run. Eh, 9.245 again. Okay, okay. No problem. 9.684 barely changed for that run. So going up to 27. We'll make this quick and straightforward and hopefully I don't struggle on the last race. All right, so far so good. Just going to run out fourth. Again, I got a nice gap on the opponent, so still keeping my lead pretty steady. That was race 27, 28 coming up. Again, Max, why is everybody staying Max this time? What's going on here? So it's Max versus Max, 9.235 versus a 9.579, race 28. So again, race 28, if, if you're already stage 5 full fusion, should be no problem. Um, in fact, like I said, it should be no problem, maybe even all the way to the final race. 
here we go just kind of bang through the gears here getting closer but not quite right on my tail although I did dry rather poorly there that was a slightly late launch I think that hurt my time all right race 29 extreme I got a transmission all right now extreme usually means they're gonna be really close to you because the times are different hopefully it's not extreme where he just runs off on me but uh, just because extreme doesn't make it impossible sometimes what happens is if you switch around to leave the lobby and I mean leave the race and come back from the map you will get a different car that runs slightly slower here he comes looks like it might be extreme but I still beat him and that puts us to race 30 what am I saying earlier 40 I'm losing my mind race 30 final race again extreme but again it depends on the opponent and I think some of these opponents runs like nine point uh, 2.1 and 9.23, 9.25, so it's going to be really tough. But the real question is, is it going to be impossible or still possible? Okay, so the real question here, here we go, boom, done. All right, not a tough opponent. I was able to get... Right on through, 9.229 versus a 9.274. That's one of the slower opponents, I think. So, easy, easy PC cup. No stage 6 needed, full fusion. And don't forget, BMW fusions, again, you can buy the M235i and the M4 together. So you can get two cars at a time from the dealership, strip them. I'll be honest, the Epic fusions are still hard to come by. You may want to even pull crates. But... The reality is, it's not too bad. This one is a relatively easy uh, event in comparison to, say, the last um, PC Cup, which actually felt kind of difficult. So now I'm only missing two stage sixes to fully max this car. But this car isn't all that special anymore. Um, it was a nice car years ago uh, in T3, but now with the LBM4 and all the other options you have, it's not a must build anymore, but it, yes, it can be Tempest uh, 3 Tier 3, all challenges, if that's something you're wondering. And if you can max it out for that purpose, it will easily get through all those challenges. Well, that is this season's Prestige Cup car with a Stage 5 only uh, fully fusioned car. Let me just go back and make sure I did put Stage 6 transmission on just a second ago, but... I did have everything at stage five when I ran the cup. All right. All right. Thank you for joining me for this uh, quick run at the end of the PC cup. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to make them. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel, please subscribe so you can get notifications. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.